I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of me reacting to some of these ridiculous stories that I'm seeing on the internet. Last time I reacted to some girl that was allergic to sweat. It ended up being one of the cheesiest love stories that these eyes have ever seen. There is actually another one that's called I'm allergic to water. Like how are you allergic to water? Most of our body is water. I'm gonna figure out how this girl is even alive. If you guys cool with that, you down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go. All right guys. So like I said this girl is allergic to water let's find out how this is even possible hey i'm lily hey and this story is about my disgusting classmate pablo wait why are we talking about pablo i thought this story was about you being allergic to water he always hit on me saying things like nice booty come over to my house and we can party just the two of us that's not hitting on that's harassment it didn't matter how many times i told him to stop he just got worse and no one dared to stop him because his dad was a powerful politician. Okay. You see, that makes I live it in okay. Honduras, and our government is very corrupt. If you stood up to Pablo, he might tell his dad, and you could be beaten up. Oh, so he's a snitch and he's a bitch. Okay. Or worse. When I was 17, I suddenly developed a water allergy. The doctors didn't know why, but whenever water touched my skin, it burned like acid. I made an announcement to my class to tell them to be careful and not throw any water on me because I'd get badly hurt. But of course, Pablo didn't believe me. He laughed and sneered. Lily's just looking for an excuse not to shower. Wait, so let me get this straight. What if the lunch lady gave her a glass of water? Is that attempted murder? Then he dipped his finger into the water bucket next to the blackboard and splashed water in my what face. What an evil little shit weasel. I screamed, weasel. desperately trying to wipe the water off my face. But it was too late. A small rash came up on my skin, and it was very painful. Pablo still didn't believe me, though. He said I was only pretending, and I'd scratched my face on purpose. Bro, is this man serious? You literally sprayed the water like you're a five-year-old in a pool. She broke out in some rashes, and you're still like, Oh my god, that possibly can't be from water. After class was over, another boy called Simon came to see if I was okay. Pablo's a jerk, he said. Sorry I didn't stand up to him. Sorry you didn't stand up to him. You know what, Simon? Come here. Come here. You know why you didn't stand up to him? Come here, I'll tell you why. Because you're a pussy. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. Oh my god. I had a crush <laughs> on Simon for years, gosh. and now he was talking to me? I'm allergic to he water, but I love Simon. Oh my god, it always oh my god, oh my god. made me laugh. But nothing was going to happen with him because he already had a girlfriend. Oh, jeez. Two weeks later, our class took a trip to the beach. I couldn't go into the water because of my allergies, so Sucker. I changed into my bikini and played volleyball with some of my friends. I'd just scored a point when Pablo came over. How are you? He asked. He already looks I said, freaking Fine. evil. I really didn't want to I talk bet you to him after what he did in that. class. But then he said, I still think you're lying about your water allergy, so... He pulled a oh. water pistol from behind his oh, back and squirted the water, water right at my chest. What a Within dick. seconds, my skin turned red and I wanted to scream, but I couldn't because I was struggling to breathe. The next thing I remember is waking up in a hospital. My mom was there and she told me I'd almost died. Wait, 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 wait. She almost died, right? But they're giving her an IV full of water into her body. Is it just on her skin? I think it's just on her skin. Internally, she's A-OK. -okay. Externally, she's... She stayed with me as long as she could. But she still had to work to support our family. So eventually, so she, she said, had to F go. This! Guess who came into my room after she'd gone? I don't care about your water allergy. Yep. You gotta get my 9 Pablo. to 5. I wanted to scream at him to go away. But I was too weak, so I just glared at him. Did he really think he could just say sorry and let his dad buy his way out of trouble? Pretty much. No way. I pressed the buzzer for the nurse and told her to throw Pablo out. But a couple hours later, Pablo snuck back into my room wearing a cheesy <laughs> mustache. Hello, it is not me, Pablo. It is me, Pablo. He brought roses and apologized over and over. I gotta admit, it was kind of cute to see how hard he was trying to say sorry. I let him stay, and we ended up watching La La Land on his laptop. I know it sounds stupid, but I started to think he wasn't that bad. When the movie was over, Pablo didn't go home. Instead, he, he slept on the out another floor next gun. to my bed. He said he Aww. wanted to be near me in case something happened. He was like my shadow until the doctor said I could go home. This dude is swallowed As we like walked a out baby. of the hospital together, to he kissed me. And I kissed him back. Yes, he'd been a jerk. But people can change, right? Our first weeks dating were awesome. I don't even We'd know hang out at his house, and it was amazing. 
He had a tennis court, indoor swimming pool, even a private cinema. But slowly, his behavior changed. Wow, you think this guy who is treating you like horse manure the whole time didn't even believe that you had a water allergy? Like, why would you even make that up? This man just squirt gun. He was like, Ch -ch -ch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then when all the rashes came over your body, it's called he felt so bad for you. Like, he didn't actually like you. He felt bad that he did that to you. And he was just hanging out with you trying to make you feel better. And boom! This guy turns out to be an asshole! You deserve this! He started to tell me what clothes to wear and who I could be friends with. Sometimes, he'd order come me to, to my come house to his house just to send me away again 25 minutes later. I wasn't going to let him treat me like that. But when I told him I didn't feel respected, he laughed and said, I don't care how you feel. I promised my dad we'd get married. Shut up, and he where's the water allergy? Break their Be allergic to water! You don't want to see my dad when he's mad. Why is there fire? I, I need asked, water! Don't you want to marry a normal girl who isn't allergic to water? You're always complaining Damn, that look good though? I can't take showers and have that to little use Sunday powder thing? to clean myself. Oh, eat that Sunday on a but Monday. He said, you're the girl I want. If I can't have you, no one else will. Ooh, possessive alert. So I stayed with him. I was afraid of what his father would do if I tried to break up with him. Pablo's behavior got worse though. He started cheating on me and he didn't care that I knew. Pablo then at I the moment. Going to university Yikes. And everything changed. Guess who I met in the library? Simon. Simon. Ah, when he I knew saw it. me reading attention. a book, he came over to say hi. His smile was cuter than ever, and all my feelings for him came flooding back. Show me the freaking I asked if he water was still allergy. I his girlfriend and he said, "No, we broke up some time ago." Wow. <laughs> uh... I like this was fate. <laughs> we sat together and talked for hours. We could have stayed there all night, but I got a text from Pablo demanding I go to see him. I hated saying goodbye to Simon. Bro, these stories are was cornier Pablo, than rabbit poo. I couldn't stop thinking what about my this? high school crush. When Simon and I met again at a coffee shop, I confessed that I'd loved him for years, but was too scared to leave Pablo. Who Without freaking cares? Word, Simon pulled me to him and kissed me. Die from the I water, never please! Wanted that kiss to end, but I pushed him away, saying. You'll be dead if Pablo finds out. I don't care, Ooh, Simon rebel. replied, and kissed me again. We started dating in secret, and for a few months, I thought we'd get away with it. But one night, Pablo asked me, I hear close friends with Simon from school. I gasped. <laughs> what? No. He's just one of my classmates. I hardly know him. Pablo said, Carlos told me he saw you and him kissing. Mm. I protested. Carlos is lying. But I could tell Pablo didn't believe me. You know what I have to do now. And it's all your fault, Pablo said. Oh, is he a killer crying, throwing the bathtub full of water? begging him to leave Simon alone. But Pablo pushed me away and ordered two of his dead security guards to go with him. Bury the body. After they left, Throw her in acid. Simon and told him to leave town or Pablo would come for him. Simon persuaded me to go with him. So we agreed to meet up at the city bus station. Before I left... I stole two small Inca statues from Pablo's house. Hell yeah, might as well get your coin, gold. girl. So I'd hope they'd help me and Simon to start a new life. When we met at the bus station, we fell into each other's arms, kissing passionately. So I she's allergic so to water and she's a good-for-nothing thief. We took the next bus to Mexico. The whole journey, I worried about Pablo coming after us. But we arrived safely. It took a while, but we found someone willing to sell the statues for us. Bro, this story is faker than my dad's than tits. Expected. We were able to buy ourselves a little house. Get the heck it was out a of here! Apart from Pablo's, but it was ours, and we were happy there. You stole two Inca statues. You ain't getting a baller house like that in Mexico. No way. No me gusta. Although we weren't trying, I soon fell pregnant and gave birth to our son, Frank. Frank is so huge. I went out to work was while a big I looked bitch. after the baby. Y'all see that Everything kid? It was perfect. But was I should have known kid, it was dude. too good to last. One night, masked men broke into our Karma. house and took me with them, leaving Simon and Frank behind. They took me to a small private airstrip, and that's when I realized Pablo had tracked me down. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just had to pause this video. Like, like what the heck? All right, so... 
I saw this video and it said allergic to water. So I was like, oh, cool. We're actually going to see the life of somebody allergic to water. And now it's at this point where this girl gets taken on a private jet from her ex-boyfriend's bodyguards after she stole some Inca statues and kissed some Simon Says ass dude and they run away to Mexico together. Like, what? Did what I just say make any type of sense? No. And yet it's all right here before our very own eyes. Before our pupils. Wow. This is ridiculous. I the whole flight back to Honduras. Terrified that something bad had happened to Simon and Frank. These karate chop landed, dudes. As I left How the plane, like I this? saw Pablo standing there with a big grin on his face. Oh, Pablo. He came up Pablito. to me and said, How are you, sweetheart? <laughs> he tried to hug me, but I pushed him away screaming. What have you done to Simon and my baby? Instead of answering, he just smiled and told me to get into his car. Get in. I had no choice, get so I did what I was told. In. When we arrived at his house, I immediately felt like a prisoner. Wow. Pablo said, now that we're finally reunited, I'm going to marry you as soon as possible. So say, how come tomorrow. nobody's stopping this? Where are you this think of parents? saying no, remember. Did the mom still have to work? Lives. I was devastated. My son and boyfriend were gone, and now I had to marry Pablo? As a sick joke, he invited my mom to our wedding. Yeah, mom. She was help. so happy for me, and I couldn't tell her the truth. She loved the idea of me marrying into money, because we'd always been poor. She had no idea how miserable I was. The ceremony was weird. It was only me, Pablo, the pastor, and my mom. At the altar, I asked him, Why me? Why not some other girl? And he replied, the more you despise me, the more I want you. That was the beginning of my new life. I was a prisoner in a gilded cage. But it wasn't as bad as I had imagined it. I was allowed to go out sometimes as long as one of Pablo's bodyguards was with me. This whole thing disgusts me. I drive me. an armored luxury SUV as to go shopping. But it felt like, wrong this whole spending video's Pablo's gross. money. My country Stinks. is so poor. Stinks of and filth. I hated living in luxury while there were kids begging on the streets. Of course... I also never forgot Simon and Frank. Bitch, you're allergic to water. Who cares about Simon and Frank? I find out what happened to them. To see if they were still alive. But then the worst thing happened. Pablo Life? got me pregnant. Yikes. I was trapped. There was no way I'd leave my baby with Pablo. But if I took him with me, Pablo would hunt me down again. When I gave birth to my second son, Lucas, Pablo's dad started spending a lot of time with me and Lucas. As I got to know him, he seemed like a decent man, so I told him how Pablo was treating me. His reaction stunned me. He said, My son's an idiot. He should know better than to treat a woman that way. I promise Are you, they gonna fall in love? raise my grandson well so he's Please. nothing like his father, Let that happen. I'll make sure he gets my full inheritance. Something good has to happen here. Come on. Then he told Pablo never to lay a hand on me again. I was part of the family and deserved respect. Pablo's dad gave me a house and the baby, as well as a monthly allowance. Damn. It's not a bad this life. This got a maid. And I love Lucas dearly. But I can't forget Simon and Frank. I just Simon and Frank again are dead day. for all you know. They are buried in some ditch. And actually, they didn't even have a good ending. Simon is left with Frank, and they're nowhere to be found. So maybe those two bodyguards did kill them. Who knows? Like, I'm actually curious about that. They need to make a part two, the Simon and Frank update, because I think their bodies are decomposing somewhere in Honduras right now. Okay, I'm going to actually react to one more video because the title actually caught my eye, and it says, a snake bit off my... A snake bit off his... Do I need to say it? A snake bit off his snake, okay? Is that cannibalism? I don't know, but the snake bit it off. I wonder if he swallowed it whole, and that's, uh, pause. <laughs> anyway, let's check this video out. Hey, I'm Benjamin, and even though I'm only 21 years old, I already know that I will stay a virgin for the rest of my life. Damn. Let me explain you why. A few years ago, I went on vacation to Thailand. Okay. My family and I had just checked into our hotel. When I decided to go to toilet... I mean, we had just been off a 10-hour flight, and I was bursting. I know, I gotta take off. So Daddy I sat boy. down on the toilet with my headphones on, listening to music. Uh-huh. When I suddenly felt something pulling on my cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this man said he felt something pulling on his cucumber this man is generous that is like a baby carrot at most come on my guy my first reflex was to jump up and look down i saw a big long snake that had sunk its teeth into my cucumber now before i continue telling the story please take a look at this image of a snake's mouth okay it has dozens of sharp teeth that are hook shaped so they can I know hold what on to their prey. Like. I know they normally nasty. only eat mice, rats, or chipmunks. But my cucumber must have looked tasty or something. <laughs> and once the snake had bitten into it, it didn't let go again. What the I started heck? screaming and ran out of the toilet. With Whoa. the snake still holding on That's to my not cucumber. I see. When I Uncensored. saw my mom, I screamed. Ah! Help me! But my mom just started screaming too and didn't help at all. <laughs> so, in the end, I tried to pull the snake's mouth open, oh my God, but this made bro. the snake bite down even There's harder. There's really an image of a cucumber and, and him pulling when the snake it happened. off. My oh. cucumber got bitten off, and oh! the snake swallowed four-fifths of it. Oh, that hurts me! I knew I had to go to the hospital ASAP. Oh, but first I asked my mom to catch the snake and cut it open, so no, that we could mom. later sew my cucumber Chill. back together. That snake probably has dick breath. my mom was too scared and the snake escaped. Meanwhile, I found a taxi to get to a hospital, but the driver kept arguing how my blood was ruining his seats. I got so angry, I used my left arm to pull him out of his own taxi while holding my cucumber with my right hand. You mean half the I cucumber? had never driven a car a before, but it wasn't that complicated. And after 20 minutes of driving, I had found a hospital. When I ran into the lobby, I was covered in blood and screamed, Help! Help! When the nurses saw me, <laughs> they immediately brought me into the emergency room. I still hoped that they could somehow save my cucumber, but the doctors just kept on asking me whether it was a poisonous snake or not. But, I mean, how was I supposed to know that? Well, it took 20 hours of operating on me until the doctors were able to fix my cucumber enough so that I could pee relatively normally into a toilet again. Oh. However, the doctors told me that I would never be able to make love that to a woman sucks. again. And to make way. things worse, there were several TV crews outside my hospital room trying to interview the boy that had lost his cucumber. I mean, seriously? Do you think I want to tell the whole world that my cucumber was bitten off by a snake while sitting on a toilet? Well, when I finally arrived back in the U.S., this door my is actually was really waiting interesting. for me at the airport. Not even gonna lie. And, uh, I'm heavily invested. We were both my eyes have been wide Catholic open this whole time. And still virgins. We had planned to have our first time after we got married, but now I had to tell her about my condition. Why don't you tell her that beforehand? I mean, if you're gonna wait till marriage, fine. But if you're gonna wait till marriage and she finds out that it doesn't even work, yikes! We sat down at an ice cream cafe. And I'm not joking, but she ordered herself a banana split. Oof. I waited That's the until only she banana that she's going to have for the rest of her life. And then I told life. her the news. I told her how I had lost my cucumber on my trip to Thailand. Oy. I expected her to feel sorry for me or something, but she just said she wanted to take a look at it in the bathroom. Wait, she never took a look at it when you two were together? What did you guys do all day? And well, when I showed it to her, she started laughing so hard that tears were running oh. down her face. Oh, oh, that hurts me. Like, I, I don't have a snake bitten cucumber or whatever you want to call it, but damn, that hurts me. All the guys out there, like, did you feel something tingle just now? The fact that she ha 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 ing, oh, that hurts, my guy. Face. I ah. have to admit that her reaction completely destroyed the little confidence That's your wife, that I had too. Left. Bro. After she had calmed down, I asked her if she was okay with the fact that I would never be able to make love with her. At least, not in the conventional way. Luckily, she said she didn't mind. But wow. the next day, right. when I asked her to go out, she said she was busy. And afterwards, she completely stopped responding to my messages. Oh wait, they're I not married? I tell you, it hurts to be rejected because of your body. Because of something you have no control over and that you can't change. I felt like such a loser. I thought I would never be able to satisfy any girlfriend I had. I grew so insecure that whenever a girl started talking to me, I ended the conversation as quickly as possible. That's actually I really sad. I didn't want a new girlfriend because I, feel bad for this I was guy. scared of having to tell her about my embarrassing condition. Because like, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, 
you could be head over heels with this girl, but you still have to tell her the fact that you don't have the thing that people usually do when they get really close. And that sitting in the back of his head must be, oh, I feel bad for that guy. But after six months, two guys came up to me at college. They were both laughing and asked me if a snake had really bitten off my cucumber. And I started blushing so hard that I basically admitted that it was true. It turns out that my ex got drunk at a college party and told everyone about my accident. And I hate this girl. And I from hate then her so much. Everyone at my college called me Miss P because I had a missing, uh, you know what. Yeah. For the next three years, I basically stopped talking to girls and instead completely focused on college. I think I wanted to get straight A's to compensate for what I was lacking, but I just grew more and more frustrated. And I came to the conclusion that if lesbians make it work, that I can make it work too. And that's okay. when I decided to start dating again. And I met my current girlfriend, Suzanne, at a college party. It took me five dates with her to work up the courage to tell her about my condition. And luckily, she wasn't creeped out or anything. I mean, she giggled a bit, but I can deal with that. And since meeting her, I realized that even though I lost my cucumber, I can still make her happy. I mean, lesbians can make each other happy too. Okay, so I end, guess if you keep I'm relating it to that. I'm that my old girlfriend broke up with me. Because otherwise, I would have never met Suzanne. And I can't tell you how much I love her. She is much nicer than my ex. In fact, two months ago, I had a very important homework assignment in my college economics course. I was supposed to write 5,000 words about the dual system theory. But I was down with a cold and spent my whole weekend laying what does in this bed have to do with high temperature. But Tell me about your cucumber. Gave me a stack of papers. She had done my homework for me. Aww. I can't tell you how grateful I was. And That's a real then, one right there. I've helped her several times with her homework because I want to make sure I always give <laughs> more than I take. So I like thank that. you for listening to my story, and please subscribe to this channel for daily animated stories. I agree with that. Subscribe to share my story if you guys want to see more daily animated stories. This guy did my job for me. That was actually a better story than the first one. The fact that it was consistent the whole time and the subject was about his thing missing and it just related to that the whole way. That's why the allergic to water one, that made no sense because we don't want to hear about some stuff that doesn't matter like that Pablo guy and that Simon guy and two kids we don't give diddly dicks about. This snake one was actually pretty legit, but I'm going to end this episode right here. If you guys want to see me do any more reactions to any of these crazy stories, make sure you guys give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude!